What is going on guys, Sterling here, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at how to convert our variable product terms from these dropdowns in WooCommerce to nice looking color swatches and label swatches so that you can basically uh, allow people to pick between different colors instead of having to select a bunch of different dropdowns. Uh, it's not the best user experience, so we can be improved. So that's what we're gonna do. First things first, guys, we're gonna make sure that we have our product set up. So let's head to our product page. And if we come down to our attributes, you can see that we've actually created a size attribute and a color attribute. If you wanna learn how to do this, I have another video, you can go and check that out. I will throw the link in the description. And uh, basically it's gonna show you how to set up your attributes and how to set up your variations and how to add it to your product. And that's how we arrive at this position right here. So now that we have that done, we're gonna come back to our plugins and let's come down to our plugins. I'm going to show you a plugin we need to install. So there are probably a few different plugins that would do this, but the one I'm using is called Variation Swatches for WooCommerce. So let's install that plugin. So in order to install a plugin, all you have to do is come up to plugins, click add new, and then search the title of the plugin that you're wanting to install. It's going to pull that up. So the swatches plugin that I'm going to be using is called Variation Swatches for WooCommerce, and there are multiple products with this name. So you can see I would pick the one that has five stars and 300,000 plus active installations. This just means it's going to be really uh, used, probably very, very stable, and uh, you just want to click Install Now and then Activate. Once you activate your swatch plugin you're going to be greeted with this tutorial screen so you can run through and watch all these tutorials if you want i'm just going to jump right into configuring our our swatches so let's get started so now that we have our swatches plugin activated and ready to go we're going to go down to our products and our attributes we're going to customize our attributes just a little bit to assign them a swatch type so let's click into color we are going to give it the type of color of course and let's update and then we'll go back to our attributes and we will go to size and we will give it the uh, type of button. Now we're gonna configure our terms. So let's configure our terms for our color. We'll click into our color configure terms. And then here you can see each of these colors. We now have this little box here where we can specify a color that's going to be, uh, going to be shown. So let's open each of these in a new tab. And then we will quickly run through each of these and set the color. So here we can see we have blue. Let's set a blue color for this and we will update. Let's go into our gray. We'll just grab a gray color and update. Then we will set green and you can see how quick this is guys. It's really not that hard to do. If you want to hold control or command, uh, you can automatically open it in new tabs uh, if you want to run through and just do them all kind of like I'm doing. So we'll select yellow for the yellow and then that is done so we have edited the colors for our swatch so those are all set so now that we have our color type set as color and we have defined the actual colors for our terms we're going to deal with our sizes now we're going to click on configure terms now if you want to use the square button you can use these or you can leave these uh, titles long now i'm going to be using the round so i'm going to change these to just placeholders so i'll make it like excel uh, let's quick edit our large and we'll just make it a capital L and then we'll do the same thing for our medium we'll just make it a capital M and then we'll do the same thing for our small we'll just make it a capital S so now that we have these updated these are going to look good when we use a rounded style on the front end so here's what it would look like if it was square you can see it looks nice uh, but if we wanted to have them both kind of uh, look very similar to where these aren't rectangles and these are squares. We want to use the rounding uh, functionality. So let's come over to our swatches tab where we can select whether the different styles that we want. We can choose square or we can choose round. We'll select round. We will save our changes. We can also edit a few different uh, things here. Now, some of them are locked behind the pro version. If you really want to customize and take full control of this, uh, feel free to buy the pro version, but you can kind of get away with a lot with the free version. So I can enable a tooltip or I can leave the tooltip turned off. There's a bunch of other settings in here, guys, and they do a really good job of teaching you how to use their plugin as well. So there's a bunch of different tutorials you can run through if you want. But now that we have that saved to round, let's come back to our front end and refresh. And you can see now we have our different sizes. So I can select between large and medium, and then I can select between my different colors. And you'll notice as I switch size, uh, my price changes and as I switch color my image swaps out so it's actually swapping these products out and uh, using those different variations that we had set up 
And that is pretty much all there is to converting your drop downs into swatches using labels or buttons or images or colors. So super cool guys, super powerful. If you have any questions about this, be sure to leave a comment on this video. If you'd like more videos or you want to request the video, be sure to comment that as well. And we'll put that in the queue. Um, thank you again for watching. My name is Sterling. If you want to learn about any of the products that we've created, the plugins that we have that work with WooCommerce, we have one called one click upsell, which allows you to do up sales and down sales uh, really easily. You can set up funnels for your sales process. And then we have one called handsome checkout, which uh, is amazing for just making your checkout look great. You can create one page WooCommerce sales pages that look awesome. And we have a bunch of templates you can pick from and you can set your colors and your logo. It's super awesome. So if you're interested in that, click the links in the description below. Um, if not, throw a thumbs up and a subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. We're going to be creating a ton more content like this. And thanks again, guys. I will see you in the next video.